Cheryl here with CG for you, and um, today I'm gonna start a canvas. Um, I'm not good at canvases. In fact, I've only done one other one, and it's still in the works. Um, but yeah, um, I was watching a video by Josie Gito, and it was the Clean Up Your Desk Arms Reach Canvas where anything on your desk you can use. You can't get up out of your chair. Um, it just looked like a really super cool way to clean off your desk to me. So, Josie, I'm going to try it. I'm betting it's not going to look anything near as good as yours, but we're going to see what happens here. I'm going to give it a go. So, I guess there's no time like the present to start. And like I said, I'm not good at canvases. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I've got... Like, Josie had her little container full of junk. Well, I have a little bit bigger of a container full of junk. And I got junk in here. I've got tissue paper. I've got die cuts. I've got a couple flowers from something. I've got... And this is just all stuff I had left over. Boxes with jewelry pieces in it. Um, this... I'm, I'm afraid I'm probably, you know... I, I've got so much junk in here, but it's because my craft room is not all set up. And so, everything I have is, you know, it's kind of all in my way. So, a lot of it got dumped into this container because it was bigger. Um, so, yeah, I've got all kinds of stuff in here. I've got a rubber stamp. I've got, you name it, I've got it. I've got, I've even got a jingle bell from my one of my daughter's wedding things. Um... I've even got a bottle of beads in here. I mean, whatever I find, I throw in here because I don't have room right now for this. Um, my craft room really is not not set up at all like it should be. Um, so please, nobody ask for any craft room tours because that just ain't going to happen right now. I've got a bag of metal findings that I've had up here for probably since I moved everything in here because I haven't really used any of them. But I had no other place to put them either. My, I've got plastic storage and my drawers are full and everything else. And it's just, it's just crazy. So, anyway, yeah, I think Josie's challenge is a good thing to do. So, I'm going to do it. And I guess I'm just going to start by crumpling up some tissue paper. And I think I'll be using Mod Podge on this one. Um, I have quite a lot of it. So, I'm just going to crumple this up. First of all, and I don't know, maybe tear it. I really don't know what I'm doing with this one. As you can see, I got a really bad tear, but I'm not really worried about that. But I don't think I want all these edges, you know, to be just straight either. So, so yeah, um, I'm gonna give it a shot. We'll see what happens. Anyway, it's kind of fun because you got all this stuff and probably stuff you never thought of using together. But then all of a sudden, you know, you do something like this, and well, it's all going to come together. We'll see. We'll just see what happens here. Um, yeah. So, if I can get my Mod Podge open, we're going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to use this old brush to do it with. I haven't pre-treated my canvas or anything because I really am not sure, you know, I'm not sure how you know if they're gessoed. I mean really and I didn't look on the thing to see if it was so I don't know if this canvas has been just so but I'm planning on laying down a you know a layer of paper and stuff just to get it started here like I said I've really really not ever done anything like this before so except for the one canvas that I started and obviously never finished and I'm just going to lay this down. I don't care if it's got wrinkles. Um, I like texture, so that works for me. Just going to lay down a good coat of Mod Podge here and try to get this down over my edge. We'll see what happens. Like I said, I'm not bothered at all by the wrinkles because I really like the texture that tissue paper gives to things. Um, so, yeah. And that one corner up here doesn't look like, well, I guess it's sticking down now. So, alrighty. 
But I think I'm just going to keep playing with this tissue paper for a while until I get enough on that I feel like it's enough, I guess. I know there's no right or no wrong in this, but, you know, it's like I'm going, I don't know what I'm doing. I guess we'll find out what I'm doing when I'm done. Oh, it's another cold type day here today again. I mean, it was in the, I think it was in the upper 40s or lower 50s. I'm, I'm not a cold weather person anymore. You know, years ago when I was younger, I loved it when it was cold. I couldn't wait till it snowed. I couldn't wait to, you know, get out in it. Now, forget it. I'm not, I don't like the snow at all, so. Yeah. It's supposed to be a little bit warmer tomorrow, so. I'm going to go, my brother's put new ductwork in the house for us, and we're going to go get everything we need so he can get that job finished up before it does really get cold. Um, so that means I get to go to Sioux Falls, so that means... Of course, I will end up at Michael's and Hobby Lobby and Tuesday morning. And, yeah, I just need to restrain myself from buying in those places because I just, I, Tuesday morning is the one that's really bad because they are so cheap on stuff that, you know, you pay a lot for everywhere else. And, like, really, who can pass it up? But, yeah, I need to pass it up. <laughs> oh, I don't want to stick. Come on. Oh, now I want to stick that fine. More texture. I don't care. I like texture. <laughs> Listen to me. You're probably going, ah, you're crazy. But I do. I like texture. So, yeah, we're just going to plop this, plop this tissue paper down wherever it lands and go from there. I really have no rhyme or reason, no idea what I'm even doing here. I just, just doing it, I guess. I mean, whatever, however it comes out, you know, however it lays, that's just the way it's going to go. I don't think I even got any Mod Podge out here. But then I got all these weird little tails. I don't think I want that big of a... Oh, there's some tape in there. Okay. Well, that can come off. My daughter Sarah called me tonight. And, of course, Zoe, Zoe had to talk to Grandma. And oh my gosh, she had to, she got a, last last weekend they went to Sioux Falls and went shopping to get away from the college homecoming that was going on, because it's just crazy in that town when that's going on. And uh, they took Zoe shopping and, well, of course they bought her some new clothes and that kind of stuff. And they bought her a little Doc McStuffins doll. She loves Doc McStuffins. And, uh, you know, it, it, it was a little rag doll, cloth doll thing, you know, and it looked just like Doc. And Zoe, I guess, was picking her up by the headband, and she, uh, it came loose, you know, they don't, they don't sew that stuff down real good, you know, they just kind of put little tacking stitches here and there, you know, and, and for what you pay for it, you know, that's kind of bad that they don't put a little more quality into what they make, but, uh, anyway, Zoe, Zoe got, broke the headband as she put it. So she had to talk to Grandma, and she was, Grandma, you come Friday, you fix Doc McStuffins. I, I broke her headband. I mean, it's always one of those little kids. She's she's really honest. I mean, if she breaks something, she'll tell you she broke it. You know, she's really good about that. She's a very honest little kid. <laughs> so, the, and I mean, you know, she's only two, but this kid can talk like a grown up. She understands everything. It's so cool, you know, and. And like, but sometimes when she's on the phone, she'll she'll talk a little quieter, or she'll talk faster because she's so excited, you know. So she's like, "Mama's not got a needle, and and but she's got got thread and this kind of stuff, you know." And 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 then my daughter told me she goes, "Yeah, she goes, I've got I've got a little sewing kit." She goes, "But I couldn't find my needles." So she and so I told Zoe, I said, "Of course, Grandma will fix Doc for you, you know." And then she had to tell me all about her Halloween costume. She's going to be a Lala Loopsy this year. She loves Lala Loopsy too. But I think, I'm like my daughter, I think the thing was that my daughter was going to get some of that non-permanent hair coloring stuff. And she was going to let Zoe have pink hair for Halloween. So she thinks that kind of, because at first Zoe wanted to be Elsa from Frozen. Because Frozen is Zoe's very favorite movie. But then she found out if she was Lala Loopsy, she got to 
she got to have her hair pink, so I think that was probably part of wanting to be Lala Loopsy. But she does like the, she loves the dolls too. Um, and uh, anyway, it's so cute. And tomorrow's their party at daycare because while well, I'm watching her on Halloween Friday because the daycare provider wanted to spend the day with her own kids, you know, without other kids around and stuff. And you know, and so she took the day off, and she she seldom takes any time off for herself at all, unless it's you know absolutely necessary or you know, something she really needs to do for her own kids, but, uh, so I'm watching Zoe Friday, so they're having a Halloween party tomorrow, and of course Zoe is so excited, and she had to tell me about a picture she made at daycare where they, I guess they, I, I want to see it, because it sounds really cute, they, they took their, their shoes and socks off, and they put their footprint, they put paint on their feet, and they made a footprint, and they turned that into a Frankenstein, and then they, uh, they uh, did their hand print and somehow made it into a witch. And I mean, you know, Zoe's only two, so you know the daycare lady helps her create hers and, and the other, you know, the other younger kids. But she was so excited. Oh, Grandma, I made this picture. You gotta see it. And I mean, it's just the things like that. It just makes my day. You know, like I said, I'm the one who didn't want to be a grandma because I associated with being old, and because my grandmas were old when I was young. And <laughs> I mean, there's nothing in this world now that I want more than just to be Zoe's grandma. Okay, I'm just adding some pieces of book pages because I was I was making some a junk journal and I was using some book pages and I happen to have them laying here too. And so I'm just going to start pasting them in wherever because most of this is probably going to get covered with gesso anyway. It's not really going to matter a whole lot. I just want some background texture here. And I think Josie said in her rules that she said that uh, that we could uh, use a couple of stencils. And the only place I have for my stencils right now is over over here beside me behind a little wooden thing that I have all my glues in. So, so I'm probably going to be, you know, using a couple stencils because I'm kind of short on background stuff here. If I, if I hadn't been making that junk journal, I wouldn't even have these book pages. And if I hadn't picked the tissue paper up the other day, I wouldn't have that either. But that was out in the dining room because I was doing something out. I was wrapping something with the tissue paper, and I left it out on the table out there. And so I went around the other day picking that up, and so that ended up in there because I'm kind of like Josie in that respect. I have this little container thing over here that I put everything in because... I'll, I'll leave one or two things. I'll pick up after myself, but I'll, I'll leave one or two things, and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll be back for those, or something will come up, and I can't get to it right away. And I'll leave it there, so then I kind of just take a thing around a little, that, that container, sometimes I just pick it up in my hands, or whatever, and bring it in here, and it ends up in the container, so. Like I said, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just playing around. I'm, I'm, I'm seriously just playing right now because I have no clue. This is not something I've ever done before, so if it looks like crap, it looks like crap when I'm done. But we'll see. I'm not going to give up on it right now and I'm not going to, you know, say, oh, this is going to be horrible because I don't know that. I don't know what it's going to be like. I'm going to use the rest of this page because I've got some, a lot of bare spots yet. Then. You know, I really don't want to have to... If I have a few bare spots, I'm okay with that. And the only reason I'm working on such a big canvas is because the only other canvas I have... Oh, it's right here, and it's just a little bitty one. So, But I got it for 99 cents on Tuesday morning. And I had a little stamp-like print of a cow on it, but I covered him with gesso, and... Yeah, he's supposed to be a project in the making, too. I've got all these things I want to do for Christmas, and... How much you want to bet I don't get any of them done? That's what happens every year. It's always good intentions, and then it just somehow falls apart. So we'll see if I get any of my Christmas stuff done this year that I want to do. Oh, let's see, I got this one little piece left here. We'll just throw it in there, I guess. I really don't know if I have any more paper for the background at all. It would be kind of handy if I had something besides this. That's why... I, that's why I know Josie didn't use stencils on her. She ended up not using any, but I said something about she had a rule of two stencils. and 
So this is Josie's thing, so we're gonna play by Josie's rules. So I just I just wanted to try it because I do have such a mess over here. I don't think being book paper, you know, I'll try folding it. So I can get it to go over the edge here. Because you know what? I've been sitting here doing everything at the top and I really don't have anything on my edges. I mean I've got more of the tissue paper, but we'll see what happens there too. Uh yeah, so just keep going here with what I got, and I bet that's not going to lay down for me. Put some more Mod Podge on. Then it can't be cured with a little more Mod Podge, right? I say no, but it probably won't work. Lay down. Lay down. So I feel like after this weekend, I didn't get a lot of watching you know, I like to go in and I like to see what all you guys are looking at and who you're following or what you're doing, you know, the ones of you who do videos and stuff. And I didn't really get a whole lot of that done this weekend. Um, I, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to my daughter's love, peace and quiet. I can, you know, really check out the videos. Well, I didn't get a lot of them checked out. So I feel like I'm so behind now. I come back and it's like, oh, so-and-so posted three or four videos and it's like, Oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm really curious I, because, like I said, I, I do want to, you know, I like to see what other people are doing, what they're looking at, you know, who they're following, you know, because there's, like I said, like I've said, there are so, so many talented people out there, you know, on YouTube. It's just, it's sometimes, you know, it's, it's hard, but sometimes, you know, you're looking at somebody else's and they've subscribed to someone else. And so you start looking at that person. It's like, wow, you know, I wish I'd have discovered that sooner. You know, and stuff, so, yeah, so, I'm just not sure that one's going to stick. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my blow dryer here, get my phone in here. I don't want to make this video too long, and I know it's going to be a two-part one, but I'm going to try drying this off just a little bit here. I keep calling this thing a blow dryer. I guess it's a heat gun, really. I don't know. And I may do what Josie did when I get to the point of where I'm going to put my embellishments on. I may go ahead and do that off camera just because it's supposed to be me putting embellishments on. And just so she did that. Um, I promise I won't go beyond an arm's reach. I won't, you know, be digging into drawers or anything for stuff. If it's not out here, I'm not using it. That's, you know, that's the way this is supposed to go. And... And so that's how it's going to be. I, I'm not going to use anything that, you know, I'm not going to use anything that's not within arm's reach of where I'm sitting. Like I said, I'm a little luckier than most people probably who would be doing this because I have a very small space right now. And uh, so everything is pretty close to me. But I'm not going to abuse that either. Go, oh, well, this is just right here and I'm going to go get it because, I don't know, some of that doesn't seem fair to me. I think I like cheating, you know. At least I don't have a chair with wheels on it. Um, I'm sitting on one of the stools for a tub table right now. So if I get up and move, you're going to hear this thing move, and then you're going to know, uh-oh, she cheated. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to cheat. Boy, this is going to be sticky. Ugh, sticky, sticky. All right, whatever. We'll cover that up with something. And I'm probably, you know, I'm, I'm sure that my Podge being like glue, you probably, probably using the heat gun on it isn't the best deal, because it's probably just, yeah. I don't know, like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing here, so we'll see what happens. Alrighty, I'm going to stop with the heat, the heat gun, because, yeah, I'm kind of tired of listening to it, too. Um... Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to do some stenciling on it, and I think maybe the only one, I'm not sure. I think I may use this damask stencil. Um, I believe it's a recollection stencil. I got it at Michael's, and you got like a big one or two big ones, like I got this one. Um, I got those. I, I bought like two or three packs of them, and they came with smaller stencils also. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and 
put some of this down because I love this stencil. I just do. And that's why, if I can get my... Oh, wait, that's gesso. I don't want gesso. What am I doing? I want my Liqu Liquitex modeling paste is what I want. And I grab gesso. You can tell what I got in my brain, gesso. Yeah, we're going to go over this with gesso. Well, we got to get it here before we can go over it with gesso, right? Right. Okay, so I don't know if you can see. I'm just going to start somewhere and just go over this and push my modeling paste down into it. You know, I love this stencil, but some of the parts, the little, you know, the cutouts, some of the parts are so fine that it is so easy to accidentally, you know, there, I just did it. Get my palette knife under the edge of that. Now, these are really thin stencils, but they do work for this. Um, I've used it on a couple things now, and they do work for this. Um, they're just very, very thin. And, of course, you know, you don't get quite quite the raised texture that you get with some of them, but it works, and it, it looks really nice. I've started an art journal, and I used some of this on one of the pages in there, and uh, it does work. And it works better if I peel it up right, of course. <laughs> uh, I'll hold it up so you can see in a minute when I'm, when I'm done here. But yeah, it's real easy to catch your palette knife on the on all the little cutouts in them. But it's a beautiful stencil, and like, you know, if you go ahead and you put on like the like the sprays, like all the like tattered angels. I've got quite a bit of that because I keep buying it. They keep having it on sale, and I I don't know, you know, I some of the bottles are different than others, so I'm assuming some of them were just older stock or something like that. But I keep getting a lot of it on sale at Hobby Lobby, and of course I'm going to buy it when it's, you know, I'm going to buy it on sale because that kind of stuff's expensive. And and so, yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, let's go up here, I think. Like I said, I know a lot of people just put a lot on and blob it around. I'm really weird about wasting. I don't like to waste anything, so I don't tend to use, you know, more than I think I'll need at first. And... I always end up needing more. I, I should just you know put more on, but I don't. Yeah, see there it did. It just it just did it again. It just got stuck in the little because this is a very fine stencil, and because of that, I was I was kind of worried that maybe it wouldn't work for this. You know that it would just work for paint, but actually I think it works better for this than it does for paint. Um, And it doesn't really matter which way you go on it because it seems that it's still really easy to get the palette knife stuck under the little cut parts of the stencil. So now if I can just peel this one up without... Oh, yeah. That one didn't come out so well over there. Um, I don't know what I did. I think, too, it might partially be because the canvas gives when you push on it. I probably should have put something under my canvas you know, under the middle of the canvas to keep it more rigid when I was doing this, but you know me, I don't always think, so I didn't, um, I don't know if I hold this up, if you can see it or not, um, right up there in the corner, I guess you kind of can, um, it'll show up really nice, so once I hit it with the sprays, and I have all my sprays over here, because I did start this weekend, one of the things I did do is I started the art journal, and so I was, I've been doing some every day, trying to. I don't think it's going to happen. I'm not going to be able to do it every single day, but I'm trying to do one every day. And so I was using those last night for that. And I'm going to shut this off because I really need to go wash this stuff off. And uh, I have to go out to the kitchen to do it. So I'll be right back. I'm back. Um, I stopped and I dried I dried my modeling paste here too while I was at it because really, I mean, you guys don't need to sit and watch me dry that either. Um, I'm sure we all know how a heat gun works. Um, I think I'm going to switch to the golden matte gel medium for for putting stuff on with. Um, get out my favorite brush. It's a really cheap brush I got at Walmart. Um, I like it. It's like, it's not real soft, but it's not real stiff. I like it for doing this stuff. And I was digging through my box here a little bit, um, just so I could go again when I came back, and I found some 
black lace that I had used on a project, and I think we'll put that down. It's not going to be black when I'm done anyway. Um, where do I want it? I think. I'm going to start in the bottom corner. I know that's kind of weird, but I'm going to start down here in the bottom corner. And I'm just going to put down some of my matte gel medium. And I'm just going to, I think I'm going to put this piece of lace so it just kind of comes over the corners like that. And it's not a real fancy lace or anything, but it's got the little scallops on it, so that'll add some texture to this for sure. It's got kind of a mesh background, so that'll add some neat texture too. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, I don't even know what to say here. Okay, there's that. And then I found this rosette I was making. I think I was trying it out. Um, I did a Halloween mini, and I, th I think I was trying one out for it, and this was just my trial, so I really like that. Um, I also found some die cuts that, obviously, I didn't use for anything, and they'll just add more texture, too, so I think I'm just going to place them here and there on the canvas, just wherever, because when I spray this, I'm hoping that, you know, a lot of this will show through. Like this one, I think, ripped is what happened to that one. And I, I think I painted it black, and it stuck down, and, yeah. It, it didn't work very well, so I just kind of threw it in the thing, thinking, oh, well, you know, there might be a use for it. Maybe I would, you know, I had it in mind to do a canvas. Um, just wasn't quite ready for it. Cause like I said, I've, I've only I've only done one, and it's not finished. It's like about three-quarters there, and I'm just kind of... Oh, that doesn't want to stick. I really should have put something underneath this canvas to hold it more firm so that when I was spreading stuff on it, you know, I wasn't it wasn't giving as I pushed down. But I didn't think about that, so and I'm just gonna randomly place these wherever on here because I'm just they're just for texture, is all they're for. And this is a spellbinders die set. Um that I picked up a Tuesday morning and uh I think I got that for that's a nice set. I think I, I don't remember what the name of it is. Um, it's got like corner pieces and it's got an edge piece and all that. Um, I think I picked that up for like seven, seven dollars, something like. That. It was a good buy. It really was. Um, and I love Spellbinders dies because they're such, they're heavy metal and you know that's so, they're 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 good to work with. Um, oh wow, there's a piece of screen. Must have came off one of our windows. Well, that'll certainly add some neat texture to it. And since it's that, uh, I don't know what they make them out of now, some kind of vinyl, I think. I don't know, but probably came off one of our mini screens that we've fixed. Um, the house is old, the windows are old, and the screens just were old. And after so long, this I think they're a vinyl of some sort or something. And after so long, it just doesn't, you know, they just don't last. It, you know, subjected to weather and all that stuff. And after so many years, and I think these probably lasted at least a good 20 years or better that we've had this house here. So yet, yeah, you know, they all wear out sooner or later. So my husband replaced them. And I think I remember telling him at the time, I'll save some of that screen for me. Because, you know, I, I had no idea I'd be doing something like this, but now I'm going to cover up part of the modeling paste I just put over here. Um, oh well. Whatever, I'm going for texture right now. I just want some really interesting texture on this. Um, and I think this screen is going to provide some for me. Um, it's kind of raveling out there. And, but that's okay, that's cool, I don't care. And I think I'll put down one more piece. Maybe right over here. I don't know. I'm just going for background texture. Um, like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea where this is going exactly. Uh, so, we'll see together. But yeah, it's, I think that screen now, it's, it's its not real big, but, you know, the squares, but I think it's actually really going to add some cool texture when I'm done here. Um, oh, let's see. Desktop. What do I have up here? Anything else? I swear I was working with another type of lace too. That I, 
swear I didn't put it away, but I'm not seeing it, so maybe I did put it away. Okay, all right, well, one piece of lace, I guess, then. We'll have to do. Um, I still have a little piece of screen left for another project another day. Um, what else have I got in here? That, oh, here's some more of that black lace. No, actually, this is a different type of lace. Well, that's cool. Chop off a little bit of that. And I don't even know, you know, I'm just, I'm just chopping whatever, because... Like I said, right now, for me, on this right now, it's all about texture. I have no clue what I'm doing. But I'm making texture. I know I'm doing that, okay? <laughs> so, if I don't get anything else accomplished here, I am getting some texture down on here. Texture and lots and lots of stickies. Mod Podge and the matte gel medium and... So I'll be one stiff canvas when it's all done, I'm thinking. Oh, here's my piece of lace. Do I want to run a whole piece? Do I want to go crossways since that one is? One of these corners is going to end up, you know, probably I'm going to end up kind of... I don't know. This is just all about texture right now. No, I don't want to do that either. Yeah, maybe no more lace. Okay. Um, Yeah. So, like, I am really not sure what to do at this point. Um, you can rummage around. Oh, hey. Do I really want to add any more paper to this? I've got canvas showing through, though. I don't know. Are you supposed to have canvas showing through? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, well, it's never bothered me before, I guess. Um, I'll see what happens here. Um, yeah. And to stick down here, or maybe it won't. It's fraying, so I may end up having to cut that off. Um, oh, I know what I was going to use. I think I showed you on one of my videos, or I mentioned it. I have all these little pieces from when I die cut stuff, and you know they're just the little extra pieces. And a lot of them are the same, but I thought I thought they might be kind of interesting just for some background texture. So I think I'm just going to throw some down and see how that goes. This may not work. It may. I don't know. Um, I really don't want them all piled up on top of each other. So maybe I can just kind of smash them down into the texture paste. And I'm hoping that when I go over this, and I mean, you're, you're, you're probably all, you know, the ones of you who know what you're doing with this and all that are probably looking at it going, you're getting too much texture on there. Um, well, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. This is a live and learn experience here, so I'm going to go with it. I'm just going to put these pieces down, and we're going to see what happens. Like I said, a lot of them are the exact same shape, so it may be interesting, it may not, but I'm just curious to see, with all of these laying here beside one another, what kind of texture I will get out of this. Um, it's kind of an interesting little grouping here. Um, I mean, I just kind of put them down and you see them right there. Yeah, okay. So, now... Oh. The question is, can I put the matte gel medium over them without dislodging them from where they're at? And it looks like this is working pretty good, actually. Um, they're all flat, so, you know, I think that's probably helping. Yeah, we'll do one over on this side. There's nothing right here except for that. It's a die cut, so it'll kind of all fall in together anyway. Um, yeah, most of them are the same, and I think it was when I was, I was die cutting a bunch of these pieces here that, that uh, I put down. Uh, I don't want to get too much of this, but I don't want to get, you know, I, I want enough. My only problem is, it's kind of like with embellishing. I'm not sure when enough is enough. You know, and I've heard people say, well, when do you feel like it's enough? And I, I tend to under embellish, so this is kind of hard for me. I think that's probably why I would have such a problem with Shabby Chic, because, you know, I mean, with Shabby Chic, you put in a lot of lace, you put in a ribbons and pearls and flowers and I mean it's not my style but some of it is really really cool looking there's some beautiful stuff out there um but yeah it's it's like so embellished I mean to me and I tend to under embellish I tend to I tend to yeah my projects tend to be a lot of kind of understated and it's just how I am that's just me um is it right is it wrong I don't know um, I'm still learning. I'm still, you know, in the learning doing process here. 
Um, and so I don't know if it's right to under embellish or over embellish, but everybody keeps saying, oh, it's, you know, it's, it's the person doing its choice. You know, and I, I don't know. I mean, if I've never made anything like to sell to anyone, you know, I've, I've made gifts for family and it's and friends. It's just like mini albums, you know, because I do love doing mini albums. Um, but I don't know, you know, it's, it's hard for me to put myself in someone else's place, you know, going, well, if I made it like this, would people like it or wouldn't they like it, you know, would they think I over embellished, would they think I should have embellished more, you know, and stuff like that, and I mean, that's just what goes through me, and I guess I find most of the time what I do, people like, and, but I don't know if, you know, people are just being nice saying, oh, you know, that's perfect just the way it is, you know, or if they, they really mean that it's, it's fine the way it is, and, uh, you know, you didn't need to do any more, or like if they're just trying to be nice, you know, saying, hey, you know, well, I mean, I don't, I don't know, um, that confuses me, um, so I'm going to dry this, and I brought my phone in here tonight for time, isn't that amazing, and I've still got a little bit of time yet before I call it quits, so I'm going to dry these off, I dry the screen. Hopefully the heat gun won't get so hot that it melts it since it's some sort of nylon stuff. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I'm not sure about embellishing, just like I'm not sure about doing this canvas because, you know, how much is enough? How much is too much? Do I have too much texture down here? Do I not have enough texture? Should I have open areas of the canvas that are going to show? So I kind of like the, I kind of like the look of canvas, like, you know, so it wouldn't bother me personally at the canvas shows. Um, I don't know, maybe it would bother you. It doesn't bother me. Is that right? Is it wrong? You know, I know art is a very personal thing, okay? I doubt that. Um, but I just don't know. I'm just not sure. And sometimes I think I worry too much about what other people like as opposed to just what I want to do or what I think looks good or what I like, you know. And I know I shouldn't do that. I know that, like I said, art is a very personal thing. Everyone has their own style, their own likes, their own dislikes, you know. And, uh, yeah, so. So I'm sitting here driving myself crazy, wondering things that probably, you know, the answer's probably simple. Just, just do what you like. But I don't know. That's something just I think about it. You know, am I or aren't I doing it right? And I don't even know what I'm doing, so whether it's right or wrong, I have no idea. But I mean maybe this will this will turn out to be a total fiasco or maybe it'll turn out fine. I don't know. Um if it doesn't turn out exactly right, it doesn't look as good as I wanted to, I'm not gonna be upset. You know, it's just live and learn. If it turns out really good, I may be a little surprised because, you know, I don't know what I'm doing, but, you know, I, I'll be happy with that, too. Um, the only way you're going to learn, I guess, is by doing, and if you're scared to just start doing, I guess maybe you shouldn't do it. I don't know. I'm not afraid to do it. I just don't know what I'm doing. And <laughs> that's it. You know, that that's all there is to it. Okay, I think I've got quite a bit of texture here. Um, I'm sitting there, still sitting there going, should I fill in some more of those gaps or should I not? Should I just go ahead and lay down a coat of gesso, maybe some sprays, and then put on everything I want to put on, and then some more sprays over that, or do I want to gesso the whole thing after I get all the stuff on it? What do I want to do? How do I want to do it? I don't know. <laughs> this is terrible. You're sitting here watching somebody do something and they're like, I don't know. So I'm just going to show you what I have up here. And, and like I said, I may have too much texture. I may have it spaced too far apart. I don't know. I'm not sure. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. Bunch of junk all over canvas. Just wherever. Um, some of it, you know, I tried to do groups of three. Some of it, one or two, you know. And I, I don't know. It's 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 gonna end up how it ends up, so I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with it no matter what. I'm sitting here wondering though. I've got some of this uh, 
I don't know, it's kind of like a rope braid type thing here. It's, And I wondered if I just took some of that, maybe just swirled it around the canvas, you know, in different spots. Just kind of maybe, you know, draped it down around or up and over or whatever. I wonder if it would be kind of cool to just have some of that sticking out. I think I'm going to do that. But I think I'm not going to use that long of a piece. I'll chop it and... Try it with a smaller piece, and I don't know what to use to glue this down. I'm almost thinking now I will resort to my buddy Tacky Glue, my good friend Tacky Glue, and I'll just kind of run it around here and maybe loop it. I don't know. Just going to kind of randomly lay it down here, and I think I'm going to use both pieces of it. We'll see what happens. Now, this is probably the first mistake I make. Why is it every project I do seems like it would be more fitting for Make a Mess Monday? I mean, really, I sit here and I look at myself and I look at the mess I make and the stuff I get into and, like, yeah, this would be a good one for Make a Mess Monday because look what you're doing, you know. And I'm not sure this is going to stick down with tacky glue, but I'm going to hope so. And now I see I've got a problem. I, I'm going to about have to make my design with the tacky glue because I've laid my piece of braid or rope or whatever you want to call it down. So I'm just going to have to make a design with my tacky glue, which isn't always working right here either and I'm just gonna have to run my rope into the tacky glue and push it down and hope that it sticks which it seems to be sticking pretty good but kinda not the way I really wanted to do this um, I think it'd be kinda cool though once I just all over it you know and you can kinda see this rope like shape here um, are you tacky glue yeah, that's my tacky glue. Alright, I guess the idea was to have the line go that way. It's going to take it down the other way, but... And I don't know how much more of this I have to use. I'm not very good at guessing, going, oh yeah, if I put down this much more glue, you know, I'm going to have plenty there. Obviously, I didn't. And I think I'm going to leave that frayed end down there, too. Just, I don't know. Like I said, right now, this is all about texture and probably not the correct way to texture what you're doing but I'm doing it anyway so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay down these two pieces of this braid and I'm going to call it quits for the night and I probably will do what Josie did I probably will jessel this let it dry good go ahead and put my embellishments down on it and then uh, finish it up with you when we when I come back on I won't be finishing this probably till Tuesday unless I decide to because I said I was gonna start doing this on Tuesdays and Thursdays now and uh, with you know make a mess Monday thrown in here and there and I will be doing a new make a mess Monday on Monday this coming Monday um it will be on my faux marble or stone look paper um and it's an easy technique. All we're going to need is some poster board, and I recommend the type with the one shiny side, um, because that that you want you want that shiny side to move around, move your paint around. Um, we're just going to be using paint. Um, you can use a plain acrylic. That's what I use. Probably would give the rest best results. I don't. I don't know. I don't have anything like silks or anything like that. I do not believe they would work for this. Um, so you're going to need acrylic, either liquid or tube. Either one is going to work for you. Paper towel. And uh, I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is like the, the grayish white marble, and then I'm going to show you how to do the black. They're basically both the same, but it's the way you do it that makes the difference in what you get. Um, and... So I'm going to stop with this and let it dry, and I'm backing away only because I'm going to get something, and I will be right back. Okay, I couldn't find what I was looking for, um, and it wasn't for this anyway, so I'm not cheating, Josie. Um, but yeah, I'm going to need acrylic paint, paper towel, probably one or two, um, you know, um, and... Like I said, I recommend the shiny, the poster board with one shiny side. You can use the plain too, but it's going to make a little bit more work for you. Okay, so with that said, I'm going to 
end it here so this video doesn't run too long. Um, I'm right about on time here for once. I, I set a time limit that I was going to do tonight. Um, because that last video was an hour and it was kind of crazy. And I don't want to do a bunch of those videos because that's, that's so long to set through a video. Or you have to start watching it and then come back to it. So, yeah, um, I'm going to leave it here. I probably will do what Josie did. I probably will go ahead and gesso it and probably lay out, you know, what I want to use for my embellishments out of my little container here. And I hope you all have a really good weekend. Uh, thank you for joining me for this. Uh, we will have a Make a Mess Monday, so I hope you join me then. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.